Hello my fellow board gamers, today I'm bringing you a run through of Mogul, we've got the designer at the top in, it's brought to us by these guys at the bottom, now if you're after a short insight go and check out my overview I brought you guys last a week now this one plays three to five players says it takes about 45 minutes which i think is about right and it's the low complexity game now in this game we are kind of attaining shares in railroad companies you can kind of see on the cover here and this is set in the 1920s we'll have these shares we're hoping to sell them maybe we'll turn them into sort of real estate prestige as we go around the board here you've got the options to place depots on this sort of map of america and you'll attain points at the end of the game for having so many on each of these routes. And as you have these shares, you're hoping to sell them because if you have them at the end of the game, they're only worth one dollar each. Now, in terms of setup, you've got the we're free player setup today, and there's only me as usual, so I'll try my best to play as free players. Now you can see uh, these cards show you that look free players. You you're going to start of this sort of formation, and depending on a player count, that will differ. So what we got then? We got this board where we're keeping track of our real estate value. We've got these shares to set up, so yellows, reds, and blues. We've got six of these sort of auction tokens, which are worth a five to one ratio at the end of the game. For so five of those are worth one dollar, and that dollar is represented on the the track here. And the only way to attain more of these, so you start off with six because you've got this big stash here is as a one-time go on or, or the one-time action on your go you can go back three dollars on the track and you can attain three more tokens that is it that's the only way to get additional ones otherwise it's just kind of an internal economy where they're, they're passing from player to player through this auction with this sort of lovely wooden object here so in terms of starting then we have got this deck of rail cards rail share cards which have been shuffled now in the bottom three so making up the bottom four here there will be a stock market crash card and once that comes up that'll end the game and we figure out who's got points from the board and 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 the value of your shares as well so let's just say yellow is up then the first thing we do is turn over the top card and we can see it's a black uh, share here now every card has got a section at the bottom as well so when it comes to winning this auction you will have the opportunity to either take this into your hand so I'd plonk it there and i now have two shares in the black railway or you could do the bottom action and if you decide to do the bottom action the player who was was second shall we say in the auction will get the opposite action that you do so let's just say i decide to do the bottom action instead of taking the share the second player will get the share or if i decide to keep the share as as the winner of the auction whoever was second will get the bottom action so you can see there's a little bit of a, a, um, a benefit for having come in second as well and i'll kind of go through what that does when we actually have a chance to show you so yeah we revealed the top card now what happens now is dividends so everyone who has a black share or more will get one buck per share so everyone's going to go at one on the track with the starting configuration now let's just say these guys did have three shares in black they would have gone at three dollars next thing we do is auction the, the actual card itself and it starts with yellows in this case and in future rounds it will start with the player who actually acquired the card on the last round so i should add that these are all face up so everyone can see the actual shares out in play because each type of share you can see the yellow railway shares here there's eight in play so we can already see there's three out there and as these come out of the deck we can kind of calculate when we maybe want to sell these or if there might not even be any opportunities to sell them because you can see well i'm getting ahead of myself here but yeah you want to keep an eye on the quantities which will make sense shortly but the actual chips you're playing with you want to keep these secret because this is your bargaining power and to begin with in this auction phase these guys want to stick in it so they're going to put one in next player clockwise they're sticking in the reds are thinking okay i am going to pass they will take all the chips in this wooden what should we call this this yeah wooden tub and they will take for passing 
all of those tokens and they are out of this particular auction they can resume auctions on later rounds but for now it's just blue and yellow remaining so going clockwise again yellow will decide okay i'm going to carry on bidding blues up and yellow's in again because they really want this card and blue's like okay i'm passing they take those tokens and yellow has won the auction which is this card here so are they going to keep it and just put it there or are they going to decide to do this bottom action now what is this bottom action so you can sell all of your brown shares in this case they've only got one uh, and if and if they do decide to do this action you have to sell all of that particular color share and additionally, well, not additionally, if you don't want to sell all of them and you don't want to do that, you can instead, this little sort of depot symbol, you can put one of your six depots on the matching colour. So you can see there's a brown network here and I could probably put it on one of these. Uh, you can see some of them have multiple colours, so purple and brown and yellow and brown there as well. You probably want to go on those as well because they will score for uh, uh, each colour. So I'm going to... Well, what am I going to do, actually? So I think we yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do the bottom action so we're not gonna sell just yet but we are gonna put a depot on so we're gonna put a depot on there and it makes sense as to the importance of those at the end of the game now because we won the auction we got to decide which action we did the bottom one the second place which was blue in this case now gets to keep that card and that's it these guys won the card so they'll be the starting player and they reveal this top one we've now got a blue card and we can see there's nine in play we've got one two three including this four and that initiates the dividends so everyone's going to be going at one because they've all got one blue card we then go into the auction starting of these players so remember this would be kind of secret but what you can see in the in the actual the tub here is what people are basing their decisions on okay so uh red wants to stay in yellow's like okay i'm passing because i'm quite short on tokens and they're not too fussed by this particular card so they've taken the tokens blue is deciding to go one in then red blue's passing red wins the auction and they again decide to choose are they going to keep this blue card which i think they're going to uh, and now that leaves uh, the blue player because they came second with a kind of interesting option they can either sell all their uh, in this case their gray cards and they have got two of these or they can put a depot out so blue's got that card everyone's had their dividends and these guys are they going to sell i'm going to sell it actually just to sort of demonstrate how selling would work now you can see there's one, two, four out of the seven cards there, which means there's three opportunities potentially in this deck for greys to come out. Now, if these guys decide to try and acquire more greys, that maybe one or two of those remain in free, that's great. They've built up their portfolio of shares in that company. But if they don't actually get an opportunity to sell them, then they'll only be worth $1 each at the end of the game. Whereas if we're selling them sooner, we're shifting uh, our, our investments in the railway networks into our uh, real estate is, is what the, the, the theme is in the game. This is how lucrative it can be. So these guys have decided to sell. They're not going to do the depot option um, to the right. And they're going to look at all the grey cards, including their own, currently in play. So there's one, two, three, four. That means each share is worth four dollars. They've got two shares. That's eight dollars. So they take these out of the game completely. And blue goes at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see already they're ahead. They've shifted some of that stock. And that makes interesting decisions as to, you know, if another grade comes out, are these guys really going to want to, you know, attain that? Because the value now of this company has gone down considerably. You know, if another grade comes out and these guys decide to sell it, there's only, say, one, two, three out in play, which would be $3 per share. But equally, this player may have done that too soon because they're not going to attain the dividends now if a grade comes out. And that can equally bump you up. So, yeah, a bit of decision as to are you going to sell early to just get the lead or are you going to get some dividends from round to round? Uh, where were we? So, these guys took the card. It was blue, wasn't it? So, they're going to reveal... <coughs> We've got a great uh, brown one and dividends then. So everyone has got one brown. So up one for them guys 
and we start the bidding with red so they're going to go one in yellows in blues in yellow reds are thinking right i'm passing i'm just gonna you can see in a free play game it's kind of interesting because the the first person to pass is not going to get any one of those actions whereas in a sort of four or five player game you know it's going to get very heated as to who's going to try and remain in those two uh, spots at the end there okay so reds pass yellow is thinking right i want to get involved in this blue yellow blues in yellow passes in this case and blue is the winner of this card so there's six out there one two three there's four and i think but you can see purples do they want to maybe start getting on the purple line i think they're going to keep the share for now which means yellows get to do the bottom action of either selling all their purples or are they going to put one of these depots on the purple network which i think they're going to do so you can see they're already on a purple and brown and they're going to place it here now technically you don't really need to place them in sort of linear fashion because they're all going to be worth the same value at the end on that particular route so there's there's no kind of area control it's just a representation of placing depots out really uh, let's just go there okay Blues have the, they placed, they took the card, didn't they? So we reveal the next one and another brown. Interesting. Okay, dividends are paid out. So the blues go up two, all the other players are going at one and they start the bidding. They're in for one, reds are in and yellows are in. Now we're probably looking at the option of selling purples for someone. Blues thinking, okay, I am going to pass red is in yellow is just going to pass straight away they don't want to waste the the bargaining chips red has won the card they are now thinking okay there's one two three four five of the six cards in play there's only one remaining they oh interesting oh they could do something with purples i think they're going to do the bottom action in this case so are they going to sell their purple or are they going to place a depot now, they're also thinking if they did take the card, that's giving yellow another opportunity to place a depot potentially on that purple track, which they're not going to want to do. Uh, I think they're going to do the bottom action. So they're going to place, well, they're going to sell. They're going to sell this purple. And the current value then is one, two, three. So three bucks for that share. And that's out the game. Now these guys get to keep the share and their next starting player. Okay, I'll do one more round and then I'll kind of go over end game because that's pretty much what we're doing, folks. We're, we're continuing with this. You're attaining shares, selling shares, hopefully getting dividends. And as I say, once this gets to the bottom four, one of those, well, the, the, the single market crash card will come out and you'll trigger end game there. So... Where, where are we? These guys are taking the card. Now, interestingly, even though these guys won the auction, whoever actually uh, has the card will start the next round. So here we go. We've got a yellow eight. So reds are going to go at one. Everyone's going at one in this case. And they're opening the beard. They're going to go one. Blues want one. Reds want one. Yellow's like, no, I'm out. I'm passing. Blues in for one. Reds in for one. Blues passing. And yellow, uh, red wins the auction. So are they going to keep this card or they have got the blue up? They're going to go for the blue option at the bottom. So they've got two shares in play. And that's probably a bit premature because there's, there's nine of these in play. And there's two, three, four out there. Mm. But if they do that, it diminishes the, the kind of return from other players. But equally, that blue card is most likely to come out quite often and give these players a return of two dividend each turn. So maybe they're going to take the card instead and put a bit of pressure on, it was Blues, wasn't it, who were second, to have to think about a blue action. And the blue player is not going to sell, or maybe they could sell, knowing that this player is kind of trying to set collect those. They're just going to place a depot out on the blue section, I think. There we are, we'll, 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 we'll place that out for this player here. Okay, I'm going to call it there. Now, bottom four, let's just show you what that card looks like. Here we go. So this one here, Wall Street Crash, that will end the game. And each player now 
we'll look at their bonuses so looking at the board then now this is that you'd populate this considerably more but it's essentially a square root for each line so the yellows uh, and it says in the rule book that each of these depots is valued at the quantity on on the route itself so purples have two depots on there so each of these on the purple line is worth two so two that's four bucks for yellow so yellows would go at four one two three four blues would go up just the one and if you did have more routes more depots on the brown line as well that would that would be included as uh, on the brown network you'd also get one buck for each of these and what else we got you get one buck for each five remaining bidding tokens i'm just going to see if there's anything i've missed so each share uh, each of the chips and i think that's it yeah most money in real estate will be the winner and that is pretty much the game so as i say there's, there's a bit of variety from different player counts here are you going to go for this kind of this square root of points on, on your depots on, on the train lines now interestingly you've only got six of these so if it actually comes to having to do this bottom action on the card and you haven't got any more depots then you can you can move an existing one which is is, is kind of feels a bit wasteful in some respects because you you're getting a square root uh, well, not. I'll stop saying square root, but let's just say you, you've you've gone on these routes here. You know, you got three, four on there, and you're having to move. Well, you don't have to move one, but it's kind of a wasted bottom action if you were second in the auction. But you know, you may be having to move this to whatever colour was on the bottom blue, and all of a sudden you reduce the value of these by one, and you're on a blue line. So you may be thinking, okay, I don't want to do that. And then you've 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 bid those chips in the auction to become second, or you're hoping to get first, but you're outbid. Uh, and and so yeah some interesting uh, dynamics there and as i say re remember that if you are low on chips you do have that one time option to spend free dollars which is which is quite crucial actually to get free more bargain chips and there we are folks that is mogul enjoy